have this idea. It's throwing up for the last six months-ish. If you guys don't know, my girlfriend plays volleyball. A lot of volleyball. She plays at a high level. She's extremely talented at the game. And the volleyball community in Minnesota is outrageous. Like, everyone knows everybody. If you're a part of it, you're pretty lucky. That's observing from the outside. So, me being around the game now for the last, I would say, six months, going to tournaments, getting to know everyone, communicating with everyone, I was like, hey, I've played sports before. I'm decently athletic. Why not give the game a try? I've been around the game before, even before I got to know any of these people. My mom played in college. My sister played in college. And I was always around the game back then, going to tournaments with my family to watch my sister. So it's not like I'm new to volleyball, but I've never played the game until recently. I've always been fascinated with trying to learn new things over the years or dive into things that I'm not necessarily good at and see what the outcome is over the long run. So I'm gonna do just that with volleyball. In March, I'm playing at a tournament called Arrowhead, the very first tournament I'll ever play in at a lower level, but that's besides the point. From now until then and beyond, I'm gonna take you guys on my journey on how I am going to learn the game, prepare for the game, train for the game, and really embrace everything that I've seen and learned over the last, I would say, 12 years of my life, either watching volleyball, practicing with my sister, practicing with my parents, and watching these players in Minnesota play at a high level. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be entertaining. Watch it if you want. I love input. If you do play the game and you see something and you're like, that's whack, let me know. I'm always here to listen. I'm here to learn. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen by the first tournament, but day in and day out, waking up, getting things done, listening to people that I know that are better than me, that I know that have been playing the game for a long time, and soaking as much as I can in all at once is gonna be the best way to prepare myself for this game. So I think my ultimate goal is to train and prepare for sand twos or doubles. Um, I really like the concept of sand volleyball. This is coming from an observation standpoint. I think it relies more on instincts, athleticism, being able to read the ball, being able to read players, and a little more strategy. With sixes, again, this is all my opinion, just watching, you're very positional. So you're always needing to be in the right spot or you have a place you need to slide to or you have a place you need to go to, whether someone's hitting or whether you're blocking. And that's fine. I like that because that's what I'm playing right now and that's how I'm learning. But ultimately, Sand 2s is gonna be what I'm shooting for. And my goal is to play in one tournament this summer or this spring, whenever, and see how that goes and just keep growing and growing in that aspect. Hopefully a lot of you watching this have dabbled with the sport of volleyball and you're getting a nice good chuckle out of this because it's gonna be fun to see if you follow it and you watch my growth and watch my improvement to get your opinion on how I've been doing and how I'm playing. And again, I like listening and taking advice from people who are better than me at something. And right now, I'm starting at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to this sport. I can see the sport, I can see it being played. I can be like, oh yeah, we can get in that position. We can take that approach. But when you're actually out there doing it, a lot of that goes out the window for me because I just try to rely on my athleticism, 
jump as high as you can, hit as hard as you can, and eventually that's going to be obsolete due to the fact that I'll be playing with people either better than me, and also being able to jump higher or hit harder. So everything you're going to see is going to be behind the scenes. So how I work out, what my training program is going to be, which I'm going to write all on my own. But the fun part's going to be learning the game, understanding the game, along with showing you guys what I'm doing to get prepared for this tournament with the workouts. I'm also going to be showing you behind the scenes of the volleyball tournaments I go to and watch. Maybe I'll play in one or play in a league or just go to open gym and play here and there. Until then, I will show you that. I will give you my honest opinion of how I'm playing, what it feels like, what I think I'm doing right, what I think I'm doing wrong. Maybe we'll even get a couple of the people that I've met and gotten to know over the last six months on the channel to talk about their experience and how they learned and how they were brought up and their tips and tricks for very novice beginners of the sport. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna use my creative mind just to put this together in a way that is entertaining. And that's what I want it to be ultimately. I want it to be entertaining for you guys. It's gonna be entertaining for me. It gives me something to strive for. It gives me something to challenge myself. So with all that being said, hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna call this Volleyball 101 with Taylor Peterson. Starting from the bottom. <laughs> 